Hey man, what if I told you this was all you need to record, edit, and mix, no matter where you at? Let's take a look at the Spire Studio. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. And if you don't know yet, this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn them notifications on, drop down in the comments and say, what up Wavy? And I'll get back at you, all right? So nowadays we're always traveling. We're moving fast and we're coming up with ideas everywhere we are. And if you have your phone, that's cool. You could probably do a few things, recording some voiceover apps and stuff like that. But what if you wanted to do something a little more serious? What if you needed to get a whole song out, record a two piece band, or maybe drop some vocals over a fire track that you just got in your hotel room? And you don't want to carry around your laptop, an interface, a microphone, XLR cables, uh, mic stands, headphones, everything else that you need to record, and also make sure that you got Wi Fi access because you know your Pro Tools ain't gonna work if you got your license on the cloud. So let's not get off into that. The Isotope Spire is an all in one solution for recording, editing, and mixing on the go. Now, I ain't saying to throw away your Pro Tools just yet, but there are some really dope features and benefits to using a device like this. Look how small it is, fits right in the palm of my hand. It has two combo jacks so that you can plug in an XLR or keyboard inputs, whatever it is, maybe a bass guitar, anything that you want to plug directly in. It actually has two headphone outputs, one here on the back, and you also see that there's phantom power on the back too. Right now, you see that this is powered up completely because there is a battery in here. You can charge it up, you can run it in powered mode, but if you just toss this in your bag and you want to rock off the battery power, that's fine too. It even allows you to use the phantom power off the battery control. We got the other headphone jack right here in the front, and there's even a microphone built in to this unit, man. On the top, we have a few simple controls, you know, easy does it for me. We have a play button, a record button there, and we also have a new song button, a sound check button, which is pretty cool. It allow you to basically set your signals input levels without worrying about turning a gain knob or a preamp or anything like that. It'll automatically detect the input level coming in and get your gain set just right. And then you got your headphone volume control that works on this little touch face Thing right here right it's even got a little touch control so pretty cool very simple and easy to use it can be used with or without the app that you can download from your app store and yeah man that is the isotope spire studio now what can it do let's check out the app and record some stuff in here do a little bit of editing a little bit of mixing and just you know kind of go over these features now, there is a built-in microphone, but I'm not going to be using that. Um, since we have the ability to actually have XLR connected microphone that can use phantom power, I'm going to use my SM7B right here that's on my desk because obviously that is going to be a better microphone, I think, than this microphone here. This microphone is great if you want to pick up some ambience, maybe some room. And the really cool thing is that you can actually use the built-in microphone at the same time as whatever microphones you're plugging in. Now, keep in mind, if you plug into the first uh, jack here, this will cancel out the first the first the uh, front microphone but if you just plug into the bottom then you can use both the front microphone and any uh additional microphone that you're plugging into so pretty cool let's go ahead and get this set up for how i want to use it and record something all right cool just like that i am set up and ready to rock i got my SM7B connected and it sounded good coming through the spire right now. But what we're gonna do, one of the first things we're gonna do is go ahead and do a sound check on this microphone to make sure that the levels are perfect coming in. And then we'll jump off into the app and figure out what we're gonna do there. So I'm gonna just hit the sound check. It's gonna give me a few seconds to talk or rap or sing, whatever I should do. I should probably be doing the loudest part 
of my performance during this. And then the levels are going to be set accordingly. You see how it just boosted me up right there. All right, cool. So now I have my uh, mic level set and it's sounding ready to go. So let's go ahead now and check out the app that we can use here. I'm going to actually turn this headphone level down. It's pretty easy because right now it was all the way up. We don't need to do that. Just hit the little volume button for the headphones and then slide it like that, such as that. All right, bet. And so now let's check out this app. So one of the first things that I want to do, man, if you want to record in raw you can do that you can just record anything you can start a new project set the metronome and start recording but you know me i like to record to beats so one thing i'm going to do is go ahead and import a beat in i'm gonna go ahead and hit this import button right here on the app and then i'm gonna go ahead and browse my files so you can send files to your phone or your tablet whatever you're using this app on and then i'm just gonna go ahead and hit this beat that i have loaded up ready to go it's going to take a few seconds to import. The dope thing is, is that you also get an indicator on the front of the Spire itself. You can see the little uh, blue, the green light going around to let you know that something is loading up. Once that light makes it all the way around, then that file has been fully loaded and then we'll be ready to go. Cool. So that loaded up pretty quickly and now it looks like we are ready. So one of the first things that I want to do here in this app before I start anything is go ahead and go over to edit uh, because I want to make sure that I have a track here that I'm going to record on. I got my beat track up here at the top and then I have a vocal track down at the bottom. That's the track that I'm going to record on. Pretty easy. Again, this is an eight track recorder, so you can have up to eight different tracks and you can edit them and do all kind of stuff. We're going to try to keep it real simple for y'all today, though. All right, cool. So I got my track set up. The level has already been set using the sound check feature. And so now all I got to do really is hit this record button. As a matter of fact, we can go over here to mix. You can see how we got these different things uh, that we can mix. But we only got one track recorded in, so ain't really nothing else to mix. So let's go ahead and start recording. Yeah. It's wavy. Uh. I can't believe I'm rapping on the spy right now. I can't believe I'm feeling a little inspired right now, you know? Uh. Yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm about to bust a little flow. I might just just kick in the dough. I'm coming for the dough. I don't be rapping no more. I just be rapping, you know. I get it straight to the chicken. I don't be driving a boat. Hey. Bet. So look, you see I messed up on that And I didn't really like it But as soon as I stopped recording It actually gave me a whole nother track But well, we're going to undo that Because we want to get that a little bit tighter So let's see if we can do it again One more time from the tippity Alright, here we go Yeah It's wavy Uh Yo Uh You know Here we go About to bust a whole Spire flow Uh Yeah Check Oh here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm about to bust a little flow. I might just kick in the dough. I came for all of the dough. I don't be trapping no more. I just be rapping, you know. I'm getting straight to the chicken. I don't be driving no boats. Yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go. <laughs> so cool that's that that was fun man you can also record with effects too though so if you wanted to add some effects to this I bet so we just got that done now let's go over to the edit to the mix real quick and see what kind of effects I can add on this right I can grab this this is my vocal here the first one is the beat you can turn it up and down the volume just by moving this around you can pan it left and right uh, just by moving left to right right obviously the the higher you move any other elements up the louder they're gonna be in the mix and uh vice versa if you pull them back all right um let's see on that vocal though i might okay dang we gotta uh use mix effects we gotta disconnect to use the effects that's cool though we'll go ahead and record without adding our effects in right now we'll keep that in and let's go back to record and then here we go. let's add some effects before we record this time so Yo, we can go through Encore, got a bright voice, okay, that adds a little bit of reverb on us. We got this warm voice, adds some character and some reverb. We got Rowdy, yeah, I think I'm going to use this for these ad-libs real quick, yeah, I bet. 
and then we're gonna go back to the edit because I like to look at this while I record. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's wavy, 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 wavy. 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 You know, yeah. you know. Here you we go. About to bust a hole, spire flow. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm about to bust a little flow. I might just kick in the dough. I came for all of the dough. I don't be trapping no more. I just be rapping, you know. I'm getting straight to the chicken. I don't be driving no boats. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go. I bet. So now let's stop that, actually. And then let's turn this off. I'm gonna come to this track here and let's turn that down. Let's see what we got. Yeah. It's wavy. Uh. Yo. Uh. You know, here we go, about to bust a whole spire flow, uh, yeah, check, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, I'm about to bust a little flow, I might just kick in the dough, I came for all of the dough, I don't be trapping no more, I just be rapping, you know, I'm getting straight to the chicken, I don't be driving no boats, yeah. here we go, 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 go. Stop that. Let's turn this off real quick. All right, man. Let me. I want to hear my song one more time. Let me hear this sound kind of tight. Yeah, it's wavy. Uh, yo, uh, you know. Here we go. About to bust a whole spire flow. Uh, yeah, check. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm about to bust a little flow. I might just kick in the dough. I came for all of the dough. I don't be trapping no more. I just be rapping, you know. I'm getting straight to the chicken. I don't be driving no boats. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go. I don't know if it's me or that actually sound kind of tight, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, but you see, we got all our different tracks we can mix up in here. You can add effects in after you mix if you disconnect from the Spire. We ain't going to do that right now. Um, but when you're done, you can actually share this or export the stem. So if you hit export, you can export the individual tracks. You can export it as a wave or as an info A. I really love that feature. I really love the fact that you can export the individual tracks. That gives this professional ability. That means that you can actually record using a professional microphone and then export and have this stuff mixed in Pro Tools or whatever the DAW that you're using. Pretty dope right there. You can enhance it if you want to. Let's see what that does. Okay, improving clarity. It's probably gonna do the lim um, like a mastering job on it, okay? It's gonna improve my clarity. What else is it gonna do? Uh, Boosting the loudness, right? All right, cool. Let's hear what it sound like. Yeah, it's wavy. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, here we go. About to bust a whole spire flow. Uh, yeah, check. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm about to bust a little flow. I might just kick in the dough. I came for all of the dough. I don't be trapping no more. I just be rapping, you know. I'm getting straight to the chicken. I don't be driving no boats. Okay. All right, cool. That's cool. I can. I, I kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of cool. Um, post. If you choose to post, you can upload it directly to SoundCloud or even post to your social media. Or you can just share this um, by saving it on your phone. You can send it as a text message or email or anything like that, man. So again, this gives you the ability to create a professional recording and share it with whoever you might be collaborating with. Super dope, very useful. What are your thoughts on the Azotope Spire? I would love to hear it down in the comments below. Um, I think it's actually pretty dope and very useful for someone who wants to have a portable recording and mixing solution uh, that you don't have to take a whole bunch of gear with you next time you wanna record on location. So um, yeah, check it out. I'm Wavy Wayne. The links to this Azotope Spire, if you wanna cop one, will be down in the description. Also check out my website, wavywayne.com and see what else you can learn, all right? <laughs> be dope.